Okay, so I asked the guys on my Patreon, the guys and girls, if they wanted me to kind of break down this improvised take of Dancing Queen. So, this was totally improvised, I just sat down in front of the camera. Now the real Dancing Queen is played in A major, but I decided to play this in G. Because it kind of works quite nicely in that key. So, the first chord that I'm playing there, we got a G, a D, and then a B in the top. And you might want to hammer that on. So if you start off playing the A with the bar, and then hammer on with the pinky. So we're just doing that melody in the top. So B, A, C. add 9 in first inversion, so you get an E, a C, a D, and then a G in the top, and then the same again. And then I'm doing that same chord again, and then I move down to like a G in second inversion, right? So we've got a D in the bass. We're going to come to this chord. So we're playing a D octave, so on the fifth fret, D, and a B up at the top, and then doing like a, a B major dominant seven flat nine uh, kind of thing. So you're going to want a D sharp here, and then an A, and then an F sharp, and a B in the top, and the melody goes B, A, A, B. Um, and try and avoid your that happening. minor, so bar on the 7th fret, and then play the G, and the melody is up here, and then, so we're going to fall from this G, down to the E, and then play an A triad, melody note up top is the B, the A, to the G, and then we just play it like this with a C triad here, and the F sharp up to the G, and then the A will introduce from the open A, and then play the D with this bar, so we're barring all across the 5th fret, Does that. And then we're back to that kind of So we then come to the verse and the verse I'm doing kind of this triad based stuff so we're going between this kind of G major triad here at the 5th uh, fret and this C major triad or so we're just playing or you could maybe think about making it like a C add line so Minor, so we've got an E, another E, and then an A, and then we have 
hammer on the B. Okay, and then we come to this D kind of sus. So we've got a D uh, on the A string, then a G on the D string. here at the 7th fret to an E minor chord, so I'm playing E, A, D, F sharp, or uh, with a G in the top, or you could also add in that B there. And then the same thing again. kind of worked out okay so we're gonna play an E flat major triad then an F major triad and then a E minor chord so uh, so we're kind of enclosing that E minor with some chromatic and then just melody A minor so we've got an A and then a seven there G and then that B rises up to the C and how do I do that bit? So I think I'm doing sixths there so we have an F sharp and a D this kind of thing As I say, it was improvised, so I'm not exactly totally sure, you know, what I was thinking for all of it, but that's roughly what came out, um, and this sort of thing I've got used to kind of doing, because if you can play a melody, it's often possible to grab a triad nearby. got the record playing in your head fairly strong I find that myself personally I can sort of put things together in this way um, it's sort of like just hoping that you ride the bicycle and you don't fall off but it's something that works sometimes with some songs so that's what was going on there so if you wanted to put this sort of thing together yourself what I might do would be to work on the melody first sort of like falling off a log to play the melody and you can play it in a few different places and then you can start to try
try and look for the nearest kind of trias to the melody that you're playing. helpful in terms of showing you what I was doing there. Sorry it's a little bit rushed but there's quite a lot of stuff to go through there. Um, the tab for it will be on Patreon which hopefully will be useful to one or two of you if you were trying to work that out. There's the preset that I'm using is the Vox AC15 one. Um, this is the second time I've filmed this, hopefully this works. Cheers! They say two things don't they? They say uh, never look a gift horse in the mouth, not sure what that means, and they also say don't meet your heroes. So I've got a little story for you. I once went to like a charity event at White Hart Lane, uh, home of Tottenham Hotspur, my favourite team uh, when I was into football. And it was sort of this charity event, as I say, and they were doing this kind of like auction of promises type thing. And, uh, you know, people from the local jewellery shops or whatever saying buy a ring for whatever. And you had sort of Ian Walker there, he was quick to uh, put in bids. So he's quite generous with his money. Les Ferdinand, um, didn't seem to be there. Sol Campbell disappeared sort of halfway through. Um, Darren Anderton, again, sort of quite keen to get his bids in. And then at the end of the night, I could see my hero in the back and uh, I said, uh, you got millions, how come you didn't put in any bids? And he said, I don't feel like sharing them. <laughs>